we are heading to a competition today with Zeb and Errol. Hey guys! <laughs> Can we not do that? Oh, go forward. Right, go forward. and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog so today we're here with a very muddy zebedee um, and we are heading to a competition today with zeb and errol we're going to wellington for some dressage and i've just got zeb in from the field and he is looking rather muddy so this is what we're working with we've got to go in about an hour I've done Errol, he's all plaited, but this one is filthy and I just need to quickly whip over him with the clippers because for some reason this is all grown back, patches dark, no idea. So we are going to get him ready and then I'll talk to you a bit more about what we're going to be doing at Wellington. Okay, Seb's just had his legs, tail washed, we've just quickly gone over you with the clippers and now we've got to plait you before we can get going. Right, we are, uh, hey guys, <laughs> we are at the yard, I've got the dog, there she is, looking gorgeous as usual. There's Ashley with her hood on, it's starting to rain. We are going to a dressage competition at Wellington, she's just up the road, which is handy. We are taking a proper bloke, Zebedee, and he's having his little forelock done there, look, he's been plaited, he's had a wash, he's got his nice little rug on, so he's looking quite good. Ashley's plaited out. I could probably handle those plaits. Yeah, Easy. Could. Apparently I couldn't, but I reckon I could. And then we're obviously taking the kid. Where's the kid? We're taking the kid. There he is. All right, Sonny. Here he's coming in for a little look. Look at him. Look at his little face. So yeah, we're taking him as well. So yeah, we are off to a competition. It's not pouring a rain, which is something, I don't know if it's, is it due to rain today, Ash? Not till later, later on. Apparently it's not raining today, so that makes a change. The dog's raring to go as usual. Look at that, it's like a coiled wire, that dog. Look at it, flat out in there, ready to rock and roll. Zeb and Errol are all ready to go. So we're gonna get them loaded up so we can head on down. Each horse is doing one, just one class each. Errol's doing prelim and Zeb is doing novice. So Errol's on first, so we've got to get there so we can get him tacked up. So how long will we be there? I reckon we'll be going by three. Yeah, it's not the most exciting thing, is it, dressage? It's all right. Oh, we'll right. be back by three, do you? Yeah. That's part of the easy load of crew. Look at the way he's just slid in there. Look. Yeah. Proper he's bloke. This on. trailer needs a tidy round. Yeah. Not going to lie. Look at the way she's keeping this. Look, that's state. Look at, the, look at the side. And the roof. And the yeah. hail in the box there. Here comes the Joker. Errol next. Errol, the kid. He's looking quite good in that rug. I don't know if he can handle that sort of quality rug, can he? Is he able to handle that sort of quality of rug? Let's see if he's part of the easy loader crew. Yeah, straight in. Yeah. It's a double situation there. And they're looking quite good. They're matching rugs. His withers are quite high. His, his back is not, is it? No. He's, not, he's not as big, is it? No. His withers are... Yeah, but his oh, back. Oh, and he's yeah. also weedy. What's wrong with it? Why doesn't he harden up a bit? Bless him. Cute, but weedy. There he is. There's old Errol. Hello, Errol. <laughs> Hello, son. There's his nose. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. There's his nose. Oh, look at him. Gorgeous boy. Oh, play that voice over. Gotta shut that top bit for Errol. Okay. Okay. 
Okay guys, so we're just on our way to Wellington now. Errol and Zeb, they're doing one class each. So Errol is doing prelim 18 um, and he's got a big, big class. There's 35 people in his class. So let's hope he uh, can bring his A game and he's not too spooky. And then Zebedee is doing novice. He's gonna bring his A game. Hopefully. Let's hope so, otherwise we'll have to not keep taking him out if he's not on his A game. I know. He needs to garden up and get on with his work. It's, yeah, he actually is going very well at the minute. We just, uh, hopefully he's not been here and it is quite spooky. It's not that spooky yet. Well, he has jumped here, so hopefully it's it'll be right. Is it outside today? I think so. Yeah, so that's not that Yeah, but they do have those huts which are spooky. Mm. Then Zeb is doing novice at 34. It's also nice because it's not that far away. So no, got to go very it's far. literally 20 minutes, so it's ideal. We had really nice times. It wasn't too early. It's not too late. Um, they were really sensible with my time to actually put me. And they do me. nice coffee. They do very nice coffee, so we'll have to get a coffee. I'm going to get an oat latte. Yeah, yeah. They put my times. I'm at the end of. Errol's class and then the beginning of Zeb's and it's given me perfect amount of time to untack, tack Zeb back up and give him because Zeb needs a good 45 minutes warm up. We are almost there. It's 11.28. I'm on at 12.23 with Errol. He only needs about 25 minutes warm up. So we're just going to get there, get him off, get him tacked up and head on to the warm up. Okay, so we've just arrived at Wellington, so we're going to get, I'm going to get changed, I'm going to get Errol out, get him tagged up and get on. Look alive, Bella. How have we got to be on our A game, dog? Yeah, but you just don't do any of the filming, you only film when I tell you. Now I am on my A game, and so What's is the dog. Why oh, is all the broom like that? I don't know. Look at the state of the place in there. That's not a tidy establishment. Is it, Bella? Right, oh, I've got to get the kid out. Oh, it's gone a bit chilly. Here he comes. Right out of the way, Bella. We've got the Joker. He looks like he's born ready, is he? Do you think he is ready? All he wants is some hay. Look at him. What are you doing with that? Thing well, now? so that you can help me tack up. Because otherwise you just claim that you just got <laughs> to stand here and hold well, the you got, camera. All you're doing is putting a bridle and a cut and a saddle, and I need to do the numbers, and I need to put my hat on. <laughs> it's hardly a lot, is it? Get on. Two, three, go. Whoa. Happy with that? Well, I'm happy with my performance. He doesn't make any my life easy. No, well, he's not. Well, he's a child. You need to tell him. We're on. Ready to go and warm up. I'd like a nice, relaxed test where he's not that spooky. Because um, I think if he does that, he'll be nice and everything hopefully we can keep the canter together like we've been working on um but yeah mostly just nice and relaxed and not too spooky is the aim of the game and not falling off and not falling off obviously yeah all right nice okay, we okay go? yeah bye right, go forward well i'm trying all right go forward Good boy.
Good boy. Good, he what looks, do you think? No, he does look nice. Yeah, he looks nice and relaxed. Yeah. Um, truck works really nice. Just worked on the counter um, like I did in my dressage lesson. Lots of trot, tra trot counter transitions um, with me sitting trot in between just to get him using his back end a bit more and coming up in front. Well, he is pushing from his back, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's better, isn't it? It's not so long and drawn out. Yeah, um, yeah no, it feels really good actually. So. I'm in next, I'm just going to have a little walk, do another couple of trot leg yields, canters, and then I think he's ready to go in. Right. Yeah? Let's do it then. Yeah, yeah. looks good. Let him have a look at everything, Ash. Just relax. I thought that was really nice. Yeah. I thought his transitions were really nice. Yeah. I mean, his, his trot to canter, really nice. Yeah, no, I was really pleased mm. with them because sometimes he runs into canter mm. a bit. No, I thought that was really, really nice. Good. How was the actual canter? It felt a bit no, more no, together. No, it was nice. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. nice. I, I actually think that would be a good score. Oh, what think, what yeah. are we in here? We're at dressage now. So, aren't we? dressage, so <coughs> like a 30 is a 70. I think. I think it was a good test. I think you're going to hit 72, do 73, you? yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's I thought it was it really was good. It was very nice. Mm. I, the only bit I didn't like is I need to work on the halt. Yeah, that halt. was a bit. Yeah, and the first. And he all sort of lets himself. He goes. Yeah. Oh, uh. Yeah, and the first centre line, he was a bit wobbly, but I thought everything else. No, I thought the transition. I don't think you lose many marks in those transitions. No. I think you'll be 72, 72.4, I reckon. Oh, are you? I think I'm going to go with 69. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just I don't know how they're marking. But no. you're right, it was a very nice test, and he 
he's very like his dressage is when he goes nicely and now he's a bit more well let's chill. see he's i've got, got a reasonable eye for it i yeah. think i'll be surprised if it's not that sort of round that sort of number well, that's really really i'm i'm chuffed with him i thought he went in he was just a, you know he kept he wasn't his head. spooky he wasn't spooky he's relaxed he's relaxed. working from behind yeah, the can so i kept it together yeah, the transitions guys, were good transitions were good the last one i did his can was very long and he went over bent and I feel like he's a bit more yeah. up now um, using his back end. So still some work to do there, but no, I'm not Overall for thrilled. a kid, I thought he did all right. Oh, I don't think he could have done any better really, no. on the whole, but I need to practice that at home. Okay, right. So, yeah. I'm going to get myself a coffee, is yeah. that okay? Yes. All right, nice. Oh, hello, you two looking at each other. Okay, guys, I've just got back. Um, now I was getting more overexcited. Um, sorry, buddy, that's it for today. You're going back on the trailer and it's Zeb's turn. But yeah, I am just absolutely thrilled with that. I don't think he could have done any better. Um, he could be a bit better now. He's just throwing his head around. Uh, he literally did everything I asked. He was nice and relaxed. Um, yeah, literally everything I asked on the marker he did. So I'm going to get him untacked now um, and then have a coffee, have a cake. And then it is the main man's turn who is in there who is going to be very overexcited even if it is only out for dressage. Dad has gone to get the coffee, so there is no one here to film me getting off. So this is what we've got, guys. If I can do it. There we go. So I'm gonna get him untacked and get him some treats. Finally got myself a coffee, been here for hours. Well, actually not hours, there's the dog. I got myself a nice latte and a nice homemade uh, Rocky Road. Not even sure I like Rocky Roads, but- Oh, Rocky Roads are nice. I'm gonna try that in a minute. The dog thinks she can have some Rocky Road, but she can't. You can't have that. It's got chocolate, chocolate in it, you can't have it. Yeah, not bad. You're now gonna just give Errol some carrots. I think we did a really good test there. Accurate, I thought. Free flowing, no working tension. nicely, no tension, working off your leg, working from behind, softening. I don't think he could have done much better. Well, you? I don't see what the score is anyway, but. For where he is in his training at the minute, you know, he's still got to get stronger, use his bum and sit back even more. But for where he is in his training. He does need to grow up. We are very, very pleased with our. We are actually happy with him. We, uh, yeah. We're even happy now. I've got a coffee. So we're just going to have our coffee. Can you give the dog a for carrot? a minute? Yeah, we just going to eat them. Yeah, she does. Right. Okay, guys. So score is in. So what did I say? You said seventy-two. Yeah. I said sixty-nine. So who's closest? Bear in mind, I've got a pretty good eye for this whole game. Ashley's actually closest. Uh, what is it? So I got 68.2. Whoa there! But, no, top score is 74, <clears> then <throat> it's 70, and then it goes to 69. So that's the thing. It's always difficult when you yeah. do those scores without having looked. So if 74 is the highest, 68 is a good score. Yeah. That's a, what would that be then? A 32. No, I'm 68.2, so that'd be 31.9. 31.8, yeah, which is a good score. Yeah, it's not a bad score. Otherwise, that would have been in the 20s. Yeah. And I'm currently, if they do it, because they've, they've got two sections open and amateur, and I'm currently second, or I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, if yeah. they do it combined. Yeah. Like we say, you've got to always look at that, because if there were loads of like high 70s, then I probably would have got a 72. But because there's only, there's effectively only one in the 20s. Yeah, well then I was, I needed to have looked at that yeah. before I set my score. Oh, well the worst I can be, there's no one else to go. So I'm either, I'm sixth out of 35, but if they split it into the sections, I'm second. And to get a 68, which is a 31.8, we'd be, if we were uh, venting, we'd be very happy with his, you know, he's only done a yeah, handful of tests. It'd be better if it's a 28, but yeah. Well, we'll get there, don't you worry. Will we? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
guys just got on so Zeb is doing a novice test today you all know that dressage is not Zeb's forte and he can get very overexcited but he does seem very chilled at the minute so hopefully he stays relaxed doesn't get too tense and just does a nice test that's all we want Let's see if he can beat his little brother because although Errol's being very annoying now he did do a very 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 nice test in I've got one more then it's me how do you think he's warmed up so yeah he far? looks all right there yeah, looks pretty good looks normal doesn't look too excited no, no. hopefully he could can be contain relaxed. himself in there is he a calm individual yeah that's all we want we want him to just go in be, be calm relaxed, not be too tense and try and do a good test really but he's feeling good just going to go away and do a couple of medium trots now and a bit more trot work um, and then I'll be in All right, in and, then minute, so. and then I'll go out there and video Yeah, fingers crossed for a good test. All right, nice. Just normal Zebedee, really. Normal Zebedee. I think this is the thing, you know, he's just come out to play because we were bringing Errol. So, you know, dressage is never his forte. The judges don't absolutely love him, but I thought he did quite a nice test. Yeah, um, we love him. That's more important. We love him. He's done great things for us and, you know, he's getting older now and he doesn't owe us anything. So we just want to still get him out a bit so he's sick because he still enjoys it, doesn't it? Doesn't he? Yeah, look at his ears. You know, he doesn't need to go and win every time. He just needs to go out and enjoy it, really. So I thought that was a... Nice test from him. He didn't do Fair anything play to him. majorly wrong, did he? He didn't get too no. overexcited or tense, and he definitely thinks he's going jumping now. No, you're not Fox. jumping. So yes, very pleased with him. Good boy. All right. I can't eat over we.
Okay guys, we're just walking back. Zeb definitely thinks he's going show jumping across country now. Um, he's more excited than before. But I thought it was a good test. Like we say, you know, Zeb's just Zeb. We can only do what we can do. They, you know, dressage was never his thing. So it's just about bringing him out and letting him enjoy it now because he doesn't owe us anything. He's done everything um, for me and him. So just about him enjoying it. And I think he did enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to get him untacked and get them loaded and head on home. Good boy. Good lad. Well, we've just looked and we have come second. Oh, second, yeah. So Overall. they did it in the, in the um, so, sections. Well, oh. I haven't read any of the comments, but well, that's a pretty good that effort. That is a pretty good effort. Let's have a look. Yeah, lots of sevens and just a few 6.5s. Some promising work in this well presented test now needs to develop the balance and relaxation for the high marks. That's fair. So seven for rhythm, 6.5 for suppleness, 6.5 for contact, seven for rider position and seven for rider results. Working canter left a little more balance in transition, 6.5, but then a seven in the canter and a seven back down to trot. Seven in the free walk, 6.5 in the working canter right. Yeah, he was a bit, and yeah, so basically most of the 6.5s were for the second counter and the one upwards counter transition but we knew he needs to work on them a bit well i don't think we can grumble at that 68.2 so that's 31.8 and a second place not bad out not of 35 bad. out of 35 yeah, yeah not bad nice nice okay so i'm here with both boys although errol doesn't want to get in the shots we've just had errol's rosette he came second um in his section which was really really good with 68.2 i think um equivalent of 31.8 so super proud of him um zeb we haven't got the score yet sorry he's looking a bit sweaty just wash you down haven't we um haven't got his score yet but really pleased with his test he was just you know classic zeb um but he really enjoyed it that was the main thing so we're gonna get them loaded up um, and head on home Oh. Dad's just loading up Zeb. Zeb has to go behind the driver's seat. He's going. He's in. <laughs> he wants to get home. That is the easy loader. That also easy loader. Okay, Dad, we've got to do guess the scores for Zeb. I have just looked, so I now know it, so you'll just have to guess. Right, so normally... 33 I think he got 33 okay he got he got 66 point something so not that's not far off he got yeah that would be 33.3 so yeah, yeah bang on for Steve yeah. again so he's currently not not many people have gone top is 68 then he's next on 66 Okay guys, so we are home now. I've put Zeb out in the field as you saw. I wanted to quickly get him out for an hour before he has to come in for the night. Errol goes out overnight, so he is still in. I've got to take his plats out. Errol, as we said, he got 68 point something percent and came second, so we're super, super proud of him. Uh, you know, he's still only done a handful of dressage tests and he just gets better and better every single time. He was really relaxed. Um, he's really coming on in his dressage, being able to carry himself more. Um, he's getting stronger behind, so he's being able to lift up in front, not go behind the vertical so much, which is where he kind of wants to sit. So super proud of him. And then Zeb went out for a fun outing. He really enjoyed it. He got 66 point something percent, and I just found out he came third. So absolutely thrilled with both the boys. They both did really, really well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, a little bit of dressage. Um, yeah, thank you as always for all of your support, all of your views, your comments, uh, likes. Really, really appreciate it. And we will see you for the next one.